I'm from Jordan. Uh, I come from Palestinian roots. I come from Egypt, Cairo. I'm from Lebanon, Beirut. I'm from Palestine, Jerusalem. I used to work from Erbet, Jordan. From Iran. Multi, multi, multi backgrounds, multi culture here. I'm from Egypt. Uh, I came from Palestine. I am from Yemen. I don't think I ever imagined that I would be in filmmaking. I'm from Kuwait. I'm from Jordan. I am from Iran. Frankly, I knew nothing about camera, about sound, about directing, about nothing. I'm from Syria. Uh, I'm Palestinian Jordanian. I'm from Amman. Yeah, I come from Shweki, near to Karim in the West Bank. You're taking me into a place that they, uh, they're gonna talk about movies all the time and teach me f- about movies all the time. And I'm gonna make movies. And you think this is hell for me? This is heaven. So this is what I've always wanted. Uh, and I'm from, uh, from Egypt. I'm from Palestine and Jordan. And I got some American in the mix. <laughs> So the, the, the decision to come to the Sika wasn't that easy at all because I'm married and, and um, I have a son. Uh, he didn't have the privilege to vote whether we should come here or not because he was only three months old. I'm married. Uh, I have twins, two kids. They are do- uh, daughters. It's, it's not an easy experience. It's, it, it asks for a lot. You know, you're always, every day, this is what I felt, that every day I'm, I'm uh, facing myself. Every day I'm challenging myself, my ability, my creativity. My wife, of course, uh, had an equal vote and uh, she agreed to, to take this uh, risk. My husband encouraged me, he told me, I know you, I know you are organized, just go there, try for the first semester and we'll see what you will do. I have a BA in nursing and when I finished I came to Rafika to fulfill my dreams. Shooting, uh, this is the third day of shooting our documentary, Aqaba Fight Club. And we are shooting the kids on the beach now with their father. And gradually I found myself thinking of filmmaking. I love telling stories. I wanted to be in this part of the world because uh, I grew up, you know, I mean, I came to Jordan every summer, but I had such an American influence on my upbringing, which is fine, because I wanted that, I wanted my Arabi influence, <laughs> and I wanted to know my culture better and be, and what better way than to be immersed in it. And When I came back to Palestine, I met Professor Sharon. She came to Palestine and she was like, I'm searching for a new, uh, for a new generation, for, like new generation filmmakers from Palestine. In the interview, they asked me, Hala Gawi asked me, uh, where do you see yourself in, in five years? And I told her, I'll be, right, I'll be right back. And I went off screen and I came back with a tiny little Oscar that I have. And I was like... You can say when I came to Rusika, I had one eye open on the world. And now I got both eyes are open on the world. Action! You have to postpone everything in your life for two years. Morning. Then when I first came, I remember I came with uh, Dima Daibas and it was very hot in Aqaba. <laughs> it was like uh, 45 degrees, something like that. And first thing we said, oh my God, we're gonna live in, in, in such heater. And then everything started and people started to talk to each other and see th- like many things combined between all of us as target, as filmmakers and visions. You work for, for days. You don't sleep. You just, sometimes you don't eat. It is worth it. Here in Rizika, it's totally different experience, totally different. It's not the ordinary place or the ordinary university that you go to a class and you take notes, and even you, even your relationship with your uh, uh, classmates and with the teachers or professors, it's totally different. <laughs> And even in the first year, I remember me and Halawani going for seven hours here, like from 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. trying to write because we have a deadline tomorrow and Professor Doyle will kill us if we didn't come in writing scenes. And we just sit here and eat noodles and do popcorn and 
and watch movies and talk about movies and they, they were really hard on especially on me I feel like everyone was picking on me from the professors I felt like I was treated in a very harsh way and yes I think it, it worked for me somehow it made me a better person now or a better filmmaker if you want to put it that way I did a cut that I mean admired and he uploaded to me yesterday I just wanted to know how to make a feature film that's all but after the first semester I said wait, this is an, it's not just a feature film that I can make. I can make a feature film, and I can also make a documentary. I can produce, I can direct, I can do sound design, I can uh, shoot my film, I can do makeup, I can do production design, I can do everything. To be on a set for the first time and to see how the how the cuts and actions and uh, the angles of camera, I thought before that that they shoot the film with 100 cameras. Around that. Everyone has a specific job on the crew. So, for example, I'm the director, so I have to focus with the actor more, with the actors more. For for the last month, I've been living in the Avid Lab, like many other students. It's actually right. You can make it a little. She could look this way a little bit more. But the thing is, the right side of her shows this ugly thing. But I think I like spend more time because I'm directing a project, uh, producing a project, and uh, I'm go I'm going to do sound now for two projects, and I I will not have a rest until graduation. So I think oh, as well this is the yani this was better for me. So for example, I left Hassan, he was the DOP. I left yani. He was in charge of the camera department, so I didn't bother myself to take care of everything. So Kamal gave me my freedom to to go and try new things, to go and zoom in, zoom out. Uh, preparing for scene two. We already finished early in the, in the beach, so we added to the schedule. We were supposed to shoot tomorrow, so we're preparing for it now. So we can like uh, prepare lights and stuff. Yalla. I just think I never got, I've never been supported the way I, I've been supported in mixed paints. Everyone, everywhere were very supportive. I wouldn't have made it without everyone. Like, uh, especially Nur Sleiman, he was like the best. He was like a big brother for me. Okay, with Kino. Uh, okay, but I want to make it a little bit more. Okay, but I want to make it a I, I remember, like, in Jazz Singer, we had the actress go into the pool, and it was really cold, and I had Ayan as my assistant, and, it, like, we were getting a lot, a lot of towels because we had to, like, wrap her and get her into the room. And again, it had a very different feeling because this character is the character I wrote in a script seven months ago. So I was looking at her. I didn't make her, but I made her characters, like, Okay, that's weird. And now I'm helping her take a shower because she's been freezing cold. I don't know, it was a weird feeling. I, I, I like this production very much. On set we had so much fun. So yeah, that was one of the biggest moments this year. Silence, silence. Sound. Camera. Rolling. Scene 12, eight, take four. Every semester, I'm, I'm, I'm just like I'm exploring something new and, and I'm gaining something bigger than what I thought that I would have. Yes. She's gonna exit from here, not from there. Uh, when I'm remembering all the, the, the films that I was part of them, it was just an idea that we were pitching and now we were watching them in the avid. And I feel really we are a very good professional students, let's say, because we are still in the university now, that we can really do many things when we go out to the professionality. Living with 24 people and everyone... <laughs> I don't want to cry. Mm. Um. So, okay then, just gonna take a minute, take a minute. For me, the best thing and the hardest thing in Rasika is the people I got to know. Very unique experience. 
I feel really that each one of them I, I learned something from him or from her fights, loving, uh, hate, uh, agreeing, disagreeing and you feel that it's like a new home for you and like the Rizika student is like a big family they are my family a new family they are the second family for, for me like I thought like each time I'm a Rizika I think when I'm going to go back home but once I go back home I just start remembering Rizika and I think like when I'm going back to Rizika so it was like a second family for me if it wasn't like the first it's really hard to say in words yeah, so. I lost my dad in last October and I thought like I missed the, la- the last year and a half in his life for, for being in film school. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to, to like leave the most important person in your life and miss the most last, last moments? And that made me hate Rasika very much. I didn't want to come back, but I, then I thought it would be useless. Like he would love me to see graduate and get masters and be there. Yeah, and, and, and I, I did that for him. I I completed those seven months for him. Like every day I wake up and I say, I'm doing this for him, I'm doing this for him. Without, yeah, and because my father was the, the most, mostly he told me that you have to go to Rizika because it's a very good place. And so, yeah, I want to thank them, not just because of Rizika, before Rizika, and because they helped me a lot. Mom, thank you. You believed in me, and I love you, really. <laughs> Dear mom, thank you for everything, really. I really appreciate what you did so far for me. Uh, and, uh... Mama, Baba, uh, Shiraz, Ayman, too. Uh... Hey, Mama and Baba, I don't know how much you did for me, but I don't know how much you did for me. I'm sorry, 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 الضغط اللي كنا فيه هون كان ماخذ كل وقتي و... شكرا لانه دائما كنتوا جنبي وبتامنوا فيني بكل شيء بدي اسويه آه بس انتوا عارفين وانا كمان عارفه انه هاي كانت اعظم تجربه انا اخذتها بحياتي لانه قوت لي بشخصيتي وقوت لي بخبرتي وخلتني بس ارجع على فلسطين اكون من من الاشياء مميزه بفلسطين وقويه عشان ابدا مشاريع جديده واشياء جديده غير عن كل اللي كانت قبل انتوا السبب لكل شيء منيح بحياتي اكيد إذا رح أعمل شيء بالمستقبل فهو بسببكم. وبعتذر إنه أحيانا بتصرف بأنانية يعني أو أو يمكن قراراتي بتكون أنانية. بس ثانك يو 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 ثانك Don't ask me emotional questions. <laughs> okay.